good morning uh, dear students today we are discussing uh, regarding the uh, tablet ingredients used for manufacturing the tablets so uh, you know the introduction of uh, tablet means what are tablets what are the ideal properties of tablets what are the different types of tablet uh, today we are discussing in this uh, class that what are the uh, various ingredients used in the tablet manufacturing so uh, there are different uh, excipients uh, they are also ingredients or they are also called as excipients they are also called as adjuvants used in tablet manufacturing after this uh, lecture you will be able to uh, uh, define what are excipients used in uh, tablet manufacturing or formulation uh, they are also i told you they are also called as excipients adjuvants or uh, various ingredients used in tablet manufacturing so other than uh, the active pharmaceutical ingredients api it is called as those uh, compounds or those uh, chemical compounds or those uh, it may be natural or it may be uh, synthetic or semi synthetic used in tablet manufacturing are called as ingredients other than uh, active pharma drug active pharmaceutical ingredients api so there are various types of excipients used in tablet manufacturing and what are the use of uh, that excipients or ingredients used in tablet manufacturing so unnecessary we are not going to use uh, different uh, uh, excipients if they are not used and for the sake of uh, other manufacturer is using we are not going to use because unless and until they have some specific uh, uh, they have some specific importance or specific uh, uh, specific importance or specific uh, function they have to perform in tablet manufacturing then only we are going to use the tablet uh, in manufacturing of tablet the excipients introduction uh, tablet is defined as uh, compressed solid unit doses form containing medicaments with or without excipients sometimes medicaments uh, are used as, a, as such or with the excipients according to ip the pharmaceutical tablet uh, are solid flat bi convex dish like shaped unit doses form prepared by compression of a drug or uh, mixtures of drug more or two or more drugs in one tablet with and without excipients okay so uh, excipients are, are one of the important uh, part in our tablet manufacturing so advantage of tablet you know easy to administer easy to dispense more stable accurate in dose bitter and nauseous substance can be dispensed with the help of the excipients like uh, taste masking or like that so light and compact economical and it is also a sustained release product is possible uh, or uh, control release uh, tab uh, tablets can be prepared disadvantage of tablets uh, problem with the compress uh, uh, compression to crystalline drugs hydroscopic drugs cannot be uh, suitable for compressed tablet drug with low or poor water solubility slow uh, dissolution may be difficult to formulate so it is very difficult to prepare tablet as such doses form so cost of production may be increased if you want to go for coating or encapsulation of bitter or unpleasant taste of drug having so swallowing is difficult for children and ill or unconscious patients so our uh, topic today is dealing with the additives excipients and ingredients excipients are the inner substance because they don't have any pharmacological activity or therapeutic activity they are inert only our api is uh, having a pharmacological or inert substance uh, is a, so uh, it are they are inert substance which is added along with the medication to prepare the granules from the solid medicaments uh, the excipients which are we are using in our tablet manufacturer should have some uh, property uh, such as uh, physical and chemical stable they should not uh, react or they should not change their physical property uh, when they are added in tablet manufacturing they are biologically inert as definition itself we have defined they are inert substance so they are biologically inactive only uh, they are the uh, used in the tablet uh, manufacturing for other functions like such as diluents or later part we will discuss uh, 
should not affect the drug viability uh, they are free from uh, microbial contamination uh, all the excipients which we are using they should have some pharmacological standards and they are approved from the regulatory agencies uh, and must be incompatible uh, with the problems so they should not react with our drug or they should not react with the excipient excipient drug excipient reaction or the um, and they should not be react with your packing material or any such a type of incompatible should not be occurred so uh, there are uh, different excipients uh, used in uh, tablet manufacturing uh, some excipients which are generally required for tablet max manufacturing are diluents binders adsorbing agent disintegrating agent dissolution modifying agents anti friction agents such as lubricating agents glidants and anti adherents these are the different uh, excipients are generally used other than this also some excipients are used but generally these excipients are used in a uh, formulation of the tablet or tablet manufacture uh, wetting agents uh, organoleptic agents and color and organoleptic agents such as coloring agent flavoring agents and sweeteners so these are the various various excipients used in tablet it is not that uh, in the preparation of one tablet all these excipients are used in manufacturing of tablet but only uh, in some cases uh, we may not require wetting agent or in some cases we need not require coloring agent because as such you see that all tablets are not in color all tablets are not uh, flavor or sweetener some cases we have some cases it depends upon what type of tablet we are going to prepare and what is the actually uh, we required certain properties from the tablet so if you uh, first of all diluent so first uh, diluents uh, are actually these are the major uh, excipient uh, used in tablet manufacturing uh, so diluents are the fillers uh, used to make uh, required bulk of the tablet when the drug dose itself is inadequate to produce the bulk so uh, suppose we have a very uh, potent drug very 10 mg 5 mg dose is required or sometimes we required uh, 100 mg 50 mg or maybe 500 mg or 650 mg but uh, certain uh, drugs cannot be uh, uh, are sufficient or the bulkness to prepare the tablet so diluents are the major uh, uh, excipient used in uh, almost all the tablets to make the bulk second reason why uh, we are using uh, to provide the better tablet properties such as because compression property is not there in the drug itself so to improve the cohesion to permit the use of direct compression manufacturing or to promote the flow of the tablet there are various diluents used um, uh, in the tablet manufacturing uh, types so that is organic uh, and inorganic diluents organics are uh, carbohydrate or derivative fibers such as dextrose lactose microcrystalline cellulose inorganic or the salt of metals and calcium that is calcium phosphate diabasic uh, calcium phosphate to triabasic calcium phosphate or uh, from the inorganic uh, source Uh, second uh, important uh, uh, excipient is binders they are used in granulation uh, to prepare the granulation to provide the proper strength to granules means the particles they will bring the particles together and adhere the particle to form the granules in order to keep the tablet intact or after compression uh, the selection of proper binder binding agent and its concentration depends on type of tablet for which it is used so dry binders uh, added in the form of powder and the wet binder added in the form of solution so wet binders are nothing but it is dissolved in the solvent uh, it's a prop uh, vehicle and uh, the, it is used as a solution the very granulating agent used in the manufacture acacia in the tablet are acacia trichocan star gelatin solution uh, used so adsorbing in there are certain substances used in the tablet manner such as volatile oils uh, liquid extracts or tinctures so we require to adsorb the substance to a certain because they have been liquid nature which is good in the tablet formulation of tablet so magnesium carbonate and kaolin starch are some adsorbing agent used when we use some volatile oils or liquid or tinctures in manufacturing of tablet for the uh, disintegrating agents it is very important uh, agent uh, after the diluent i use in manufacturing of tablet the 
substance which suffers. Fourth is the disintegrating agents. Uh, the substance which are added uh, in the tablet formation to ensure disintegration of the tablet into smaller particles when swollen. So uh, disintegration is uh, generally divided into two parts. Uh, one part is mixed with the other excipients before the formation of tablet, and other part uh, is mixed when the with the dry granules before compression. So example of the disintegration is uh, starch, uh, sodium carboxymethyl cellulose, the PVP. So disintegration agent act in the three ways uh, by swelling, by producing equations, and uh, they melt at the body temperature so gets uh, swelled when it comes in contact with the water or moisture example potato starch knee starch or metal cellulose by swelling means they absorb the moisture or come in contact with the water or moisture they swell and uh, the tablet get disintegrated producing effervescence they produce effervescence when they come in contact with the moisture Example sodium bicarbonate, citric acid, tartaric acid, and cocoa water. Dissolution modifying agent. These agents uh, can change drug release pattern from the tablet. Uh, mostly used in control or sustainable drug delivery systems. So, sixth is anti frictional agents, uh, lubricating agents, glidants, and anti adhesive agents. Lubricants uh, are intended to prevent adhesion of the tablet material to the surface of the dyes and punches, reduce interparticle friction, and may improve the flow property of the tablet granulation. Glidants uh, they improve the flow property of the granules from the paper to the dye to tablet punching machine. So they may, if uh, glidants are there, the granules will flow uniformly through from paper to the uh, punching site so the bulk of the granules will come to the punching site will be a very uniform so there may not be any high or low granules talc sodium uh, chloride uh, boric acid calcium state can be used as the uh, glidants anti adhering agents uh, they prevent sticking of the tablet surfaces to dye and punches during compression that is magnesium state and Stearic acid. Uh, so all the three, that is lubricating agents, glidants, and anti adhering agents, they are come under the uh, anti frictional agents. Wetting agents are also sometimes used in tablet manufacturing, uh, such as agents. Uh, these are the agents which are added to tablet formulation containing poorly soluble components, such as active ingredients, preservatives, and antioxidants. So, <clears throat> last uh, but uh, very important uh, class of excipient that is organic agents, that is coloring agents. They are added in the tablet uh, for the three purposes: the off color of the drugs, produce identification, and produce the ligand effect to the tablet. Two forms of colors are used in tablet preparation: the D and C, and uh, DNC dyes. These dyes are applied as a solution in melting agents or lake form of these dyes. Uh, lakes are dyes absorbed on the anhydrous oxide and employed as a dry coat, dry powder coloring. Flavoring agents uh, used in chewable tablets or tablet intended to dissolve in mouth. Uh, flavor oils uh, are used and are added to the tablet granules in the solvents are uh, dispersed on clays and other adsorbents or emulsified in the aqueous. Chewable tablets, uh, flavor oils are used. The maximum amount of the flavoring agents are used in 5.5 to 0.7%. Sweetening agents uh, are other uh, important um, uh, organic agents. Uh, impart the sweet taste and to mask the bitter taste which are sugars, mannitol are used, saccharine and aspartame. But the disadvantage of this uh, are with bitter after taste and these are carcinogenic. So lack of solubility is presence in the uh, moisture. 
So these are the various excipients.